Hello, I'm Donald. Today I received a Canon MX308 with no power. So definitely the adapter has failed. So we took out the adapter. It's a sealed unit and it's not available in the market. So only ways we have to break it open. So cut the sides around the, you know, the wedge and uh, use a cutter. If you have a thin cutter or you can use a sharp instrument to wedge it and uh, gently lift it up it can come out very easily because it's a plastic and lift the bottom and you can get access to the pcb and uh, definitely since it is open the fuse would have blown so fuse is open straight away i can find a capacitor has blown so capacitor is short and possible there could be a chopper failure or there could be some other line so we, what we are going to do is we are taking out the capacitor and after testing we found the capacitor is shorted and also two diodes of the bridge has also been shorted so i'm going to replace all the four bridge diodes and uh, the chopper seems okay because uh, there's no damage done to the chopper so uh, the capacitor short is confirmed so replace the capacitor and the four bridge diodes and replace the fuse, the 2 ampere fuse online or use a fuse wire across it. Soon after that, you can just assemble it back. These are the components that were replaced for diodes and the capacitor and the fuse. Say seal it with the instant gum and you tape it all around uh, using a thing so to cover the uh, you know area of the, uh, the uh, glue. And uh, soon after that, put it back into the uh, printer to have the test already the voltage was confirmed earlier and uh, i connected it and uh, the printer came back to life and uh, all works fine so this is the easy way to actually rectify an adapter which has blown and you can do it very easily and save a lot of money thank you for watching hope this information was useful